Hey guys, it's Wanda Lee with Two Chic Chicks, and I'm here with Cynthia about to get my facial on today, girls. Well, right now, Cynthia's going to tell us exactly what we're about to do, or some of the information that we're about to do with my skin today. Go ahead, Cynthia. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a facial, and what we're going to do is we're going to do some lifting as well as, as well as lifting up the cheeks a little bit, and we're going to do some tightening to tighten the pores, and we're going to do a microdermabrasion to alleviate dead skin cells. So this whole process, along with the mask and extractions and things like that, should take us about an hour. Okay, we'll be back. Okay. Okay, so basically what we're doing now, I'm just kind of cleansing the skin and steaming the skin so we can get the pores open so that we can push everything that's in the pores out. So the chemical peel will be to just apply glycolic acid and it's going to help with uh, tight, it's going to help with tightening the pores as well as helping with hyperpigmentation as well as helping with anti-aging. That anti-aging is what I'm talking about y'all. Slows down the aging process. And that's what I need, that anti-aging. So when I put the peel on, it may burn, it may sting, it may itch, and I take it right off. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of skin tightening. I'm gonna put some gel on your skin, like ultrasound gel, and it just works as a barrier between your skin and the device. It's gonna okay. be a little cold. Okay, so basically what we're about to do now is I'm about to apply your mask. What your mask is, it is a natural sea moss, wildcrafted sea moss that I kind of processed and mixed together. I put a little aloe vera in it and some hyaluronic acid and some collagen serum. Okay. So I'm going to apply your mask. It's maybe a little bit cold okay. and it's going to be clear because the sea moss is clear. But you will feel it tighten mm. on the skin. Okay. So what sea moss is, it has... 92 of the 109 minerals that our bodies need. You can eat sea moss after you prepare it, or you can use it for skin, uh, to help with skin issues and things like that. Because of the minerals that are in it, it can give you some great benefits. All right. So this helps with anti-aging? Exactly, it helps with anti-aging. Uh, the mask itself is going to help with anti-aging, it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles, it's going to help to hydrate the skin and balance the collagen a little bit more. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to sit with your mask on for about 20 minutes and then we're going to remove it and then after that I'll just put your moisturizer on and we'll be done. Okay. There we go. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove your mask. How does your skin feel with the mask on? It feels tight? Nice and tight. Okay. Tight so, and right. Okay. So I'm going to remove the mask. And once I remove the mask, I'm going to infuse some oxygen into the skin. Oh, I'm And that's going to help to oxygenate the skin, allow the skin cells to breathe, stimulate the collagen, and uh, just kind of replenish the skin. Add some extra hydration into the skin as well. I do add a serum to the oxygen and I'm using the anti-aging serum. And that's just a little extra boost. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of um, rose water toner. Now what's the difference between the rose water and just um, a regular toner? Well, there's different types of toners. It depends okay. on what you want from the toner. Okay. There's some toners that have alcohol in them. There's some toners that don't have alcohol in them. Um, Rose water is a natural element. Uh, 
and the skin just kind of likes it. Uh, some people like to use witch hazel. It just depends on what a person wants to okay. use. Okay, so basically now what we're doing is we're infusing the oxygen into the skin. Now I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on with a little sunscreen. A little goes a long way with your moisturizer. All you ever need is one pump. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. There it is. Face looks so good. It feels good. Good. Now, guys, what Cynthia has done for me is I have a three-part system. So I'll come back again. This is my second time coming to her, and I'll come back a third time which within a month, next mm -hmm. month, exactly. and we will do this again. And I'm telling you, I wish I would have thought about this the first time to video this, and I didn't, and I'm sorry. But my skin is so much better now. I mean, it's so much more hydrated. Um, when I put my makeup on, it comes out a whole lot um, better. It's easier for me to put my makeup on and everything is smooth. And I mean, it's just wonderful. So I'll be back next month. We'll see the end of my little transformation. Then after that, I come as needed. So I'm going to leave Cynthia information um, in my description box and make sure I give you all the good information on her. But I'm telling you, yeah, skin is popping. Talk to you guys later. But I will give you a better picture of this in the sunlight. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. So this is like day four after getting my facial. And I'm going to tell you, a facial is really worth it. My skin is so much different. Now, I showed you what it looked like right after I got the facial. But I wanted to come back and show you what it looks like once I have put some makeup on. And I just, it's just a touch of makeup because I'm coming in from work, so I had this on all day. And um, I just wanted to really let you know, oh, my face is so much different. And like I said before, I wish I had went on ahead and filmed the first time. I didn't even think about it. I thought about it on the second time. So what program I'm going through is, and I'm going to explain it real quick, is I'm going for three straight months, once a month, for three months. And with that, each time, the first time she did a, a, little, a little bit more than what she did the second time. And this time, um, I got the oxygen um, on my face, which I love that. And um, she did something else, a couple more things, but she explained it throughout the video. But this is just what I am looking like now. And pardon me, I'm trying to stand in natural light so you can see me. But um, so I'm going for three straight months and then after that, I can make it um, a decision at that time how often I should come. Recommended me to come once every three months, then once every four months, then I can do twice a year or as I see I need it. Me, I will go back I think every three months or maybe every four months. I haven't made a decision. So the next time I go back will be at the end of June. And um, I'm looking forward to going back. So that's the program I'm on right now. And I can say I am so happy with the outcome. My makeup application is so much better. Um, it, the makeup glide on is so easy. And the makeup I am wearing today is very inexpensive, which I think I've told you guys before. During the week, I do not wear, like, you know, expensive makeup anything over thirty dollars i call expensive <laughs> so um i am today wearing this makeup right here and it's by um maybelline no it's l'oreal and it's the infallible 24 hour fresh wear is it 24 hours i couldn't even tell you i don't keep it on that long <laughs> but it is this is what i wear during the week going to work and I mean, I just put a little on this on. I don't put a ton of makeup on. So, just to give you just an insight of, wow, how my skin is looking. The texture is better. The pores are so much better and in control. So much better and in control. Yes. I blackhead a lot around my cheeks sometimes and around my lip I get it but 
and these pores on my nose, oh my gosh, as you can see, these things are like craters. So my skin has really taken on a different texture. And me applying my, um, at home I use the Murad, and it, ha it does make a difference after getting a facial, being able to, um, the skin products you use at home, how well they work. They work a lot better. But we're on our way out to the movies now. And I just have on a denim jacket, a polo t-shirt, and let me see, and a pair of jeans. Polo belt, pair of jeans. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope that you all found this video to be um, helpful. Give you a little information maybe you didn't know, maybe you did know, or maybe I enlightened you, or hey, you liking how I look behind it. But um, if you could do me a favor and just make sure you comment on my videos, I really would appreciate it. Just to see, you know, if I'm going in the direction you guys would like me to go in. But like I said, if I don't get feedback, I just do what I really like to do. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the